Hello YouTube, it's Nurse D here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you four things that you can do to protect yourself from becoming a COVID-19, AKA coronavirus fatality. So stay tuned. The key to protect yourself is to boost your immune system. Yes, that is highly important. And not just for COVID-19 or the coronavirus, but just for your general health. That is extremely important because we come in contact with so many other viruses, bacteria, um, fungus on a daily basis. And your immune system is constantly fighting this on a regular basis every minute so use the different things that you know to increase and boost your immune system so it is always highly active tip one a healthy diet goes a long way and this is the number one thing to boost your immune system you need to be eating fresh fruits, vegetables. Um, if you eat meat, you know, cook your own meat. Uh, fish is very healthy as well. So make sure you're including also nuts, seeds, and grains as well. They are just as important to the food groups that you're going to be intaking in your body. So your body can get just all the natural nutrients, minerals, vitamins that you need to keep your immune system healthy and being able to fight back whatever is induced into the body. Stay away from processed foods, prepackaged foods, and definitely fast food. You need to be cooking at home. This is the best way, period, point blank. <laughs> Tip two, stay hydrated. You have to drink plenty of water. The recommended amount of water you should intake is eight glasses of water of eight ounces. <laughs> or you can do it uh, by the weight as well. Some people base how much water that they need via um, weight. This does not include um, sugary drinks or caffeinated drinks or any other type of drinks. Water is on a whole nother level. You know, in my diet, I drink 99% of water pretty much. <laughs> Every once in a while, I will have a um, fermented tea, with, which is kombucha. Kombucha. <laughs> I don't even think I'm saying it right. And that's what I drink. And then also every once in a while, I'll have 100% like fruit juices, no other added substance or concentrated or anything. It has to say 100% of that juice and that's it on the ingredients. So definitely start looking at your ingredients of things that you pick up and make sure it's no added sugar or add it blah j blah if if you can't pronounce it then it's most likely it's not healthy for you and it's not natural <laughs> make sure you're drinking plenty of water and it will help to flush out toxins in your body which in turn help to increase your immune system in addition if you really don't like just the taste of water, you can put lemon. Actually go get the real fruit um, lemon from the store and cut it up and put some lemon drops or just drop, you know, uh, a quarter piece of the lemon in there um, in your water to give it some flavor. I've done it. There are times where I just want some type of flavor within my water. I'll do it. 
And another thing is sometimes I will put um, vinegar. Now, when you put vinegar, just put a very little bit. You don't need a lot. <laughs> You don't need a lot at all, but vinegar is very healthy for your body as well. So if you want to add a little flavor to your water, you can add some vinegar to it to give it a little flavor that you're looking for instead of reaching for sugar or, um, you know, these other type of things to add flavor, but they got sugar in it and processed stuff and unhealthy things. Uh, within it. Tip number three, make sure you are getting enough sleep. The recommended amount of sleep you should get is at least seven hours a night. Anything less, it, it will affect your immune system. You have to give your body enough time to rest so it can rejuvenate and boost your immune system. And also, it's, um, studies have been done where if you don't get enough sleep, it also increases the inflammation in your body. And also, in addition, it increases the cortisol level within your body, which is for stress. Cortisol is released when you're in a stressful state. You're not supposed to be releasing cortisol outside of being in stressful situations. It's not healthy for the uh, body and it decreases your immune system overall. Definitely ensure that you're getting at least seven hours of sleep every night. Tip number four, decrease your stress levels. I know right now at this time is so much going on a lot of stress in society here in the United States that so many people are going through and even just being stressed and scared about the COVID-19 aka coronavirus as well can cause stress but you need to um, formulate other streams of areas where you can release that stress so it's not affecting your immune system different things that you can do to decrease your stress level is meditate. Go somewhere where it's peaceful, close your eyes, and just relax. Calm your thoughts in your mind and just try to push out any negativity to give your, your body time to just relax and be calm. You cannot control things that are out of your control. You can only control yourself and that's it. So definitely work on that. Another good stress reliever is exercise. If you enjoy exercising, um, definitely do that. Go out into nature, go outside, take a walk into nature, um, get your mind off of things look at the trees, look at the birds, look at, you know, the squirrels run around outside and just get your mind off of the different worldly stressors and to just relax your mind and for you to be able to become calm in your life. A uh, increase, if you're all stressed out, uh, once again, it increases your cortisol level as well and that in turn um, decreases your immune system so you definitely want to keep your stressors down and make sure your immune system is working properly so i hope this video was helpful for everyone and that you got something out of it um, if you haven't already please subscribe and if you have any comments please put them down below and you have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.